Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Mark Corpus, and I apologize for lagging on the videos lately. Not too sure what I've been wanting to upload or what to upload. And I'm not gonna lie, I've low key kind of lost motivation to build my car a little bit more. But maybe I'll throw in a couple things. I have literally two lighting mods. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I don't really have too much more plans for the car. I might part out soon, get another car soon, but I'll do another video on what's to come with that soon. Um, but yeah, today I wanted to go over kind of tips on how to build your car correctly. Well, correctly, because there's never a quote unquote correct way to build your car. It's just whatever the hell you want to do with your car, you do it with your car, but more so how to be able to afford to do this because i'll tell you this much a lot of hobbies i get into especially cars and like the automotive stuff stupid expensive and i'm sure all of y'all who are watching this know the same thing hell expensive where does your paycheck go to straight to your car where does your paycheck go to straight to your car right so i got about five tips right now to help you when it comes to being able to afford parts or to afford different things you want to buy for your motor vehicle let's get into it all right let's run through all of these the first tip first tip what is this first tip that i have for this is get the right car when i say right car it's what you want to do right so if you want to go fast in a straight line you want to be able to track your car very well you want um a car sh a car show a show car you want a nice daily you want something fuel efficient you want electric art whatever it may be make sure you get into a car that you know you want i know people who've jumped into a certain car after a month they're like ah this doesn't go with what i wanted to do with the car or what i like in cars but i just thought it was cool got it ended up you know switching cars and doing that obviously you spend money more money if you don't get the right car you want so make sure you make a plan on what you want do like i said do you want to track it do you want a car sh uh, show car um something that's fuel efficient or has decent gas mileage you take all of this into account so you can get the correct car like for example me got an is 250 not happy with how slow it is now right i want something faster but i could still mod to look good now i would have to go into a different car but i spent all the money on this right so in terms of affording mm, you can save a lot of money in the long term if you just get the right car tip number two not four <laughs> two tip number two and i'm sure you guys already seen this one coming you hear all the finance people talk about it on youtube and stuff like that but you simply increase your income whether that be a side hustle or you get a new job that's paying more obviously parts aren't expensive aren't expensive they are they're hella expensive they're not cheap is what i was trying to say so if you're only making a thousand dollars a month and you want to buy car parts you're very you're, it's, it's, it's hard to do that right if you're not making enough money um, especially if you got bills and other responsibilities so in order to do this responsibly and mod cars responsibly and be able to afford it you have to increase your income go get work at target on the side for now start building up a side hustle like for example me i'm trying to build up my photography so i could do that on the side for now and hopefully it becomes like a full-time thing for me in the future but you know make some side money off of that hey throw that shit right into cars or in my case cars and photography which two very expensive hobbies unfortunately but fortunately but yeah get a side hustle mow some lawns on the weekend you know I don't know, do DoorDash, something on the side or get a new job that pays more, you know, especially right now with like what we call like the great resignation is what people have been calling. There's a lot of people hiring and you could really, if you really want to throw your application around, you'd be surprised on what you can get. A lot of companies are desperate right now, so you could really get a pretty good paying job or a decent paying job. Like you can make, you can find a job making $50,000 a year just because a lot of places are hiring. So Look around, keep applying, keep moving around, make more money, side hustles. 
Tip number numero tres. Numero, numero, numero three. Number three. God damn it. Make a build plan and stick to it. This kind of goes hand in hand with getting the right car. Make sure you have the correct build plan for it. And when I say that, you have a list of stuff that you want to get or do for your car. For example, if you're trying to track your car, you want a certain wheels, you want certain tires, you want to do certain um, performance mods, make sure you list them exactly on what you want so you don't have to backtrack. Like for example, if you're trying to build a car for high horsepower, right? And let's say you need to get, let's say you end up buying a catted mid pipe or down pipe, right? That pretty much whatever part of the exhaust has the catalytic converter. Let's say you buy an aftermarket one that flows more, but it had, but it's catted and you're trying to push high horsepower where you're gonna have to build the engine, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You're probably gonna need a catless one, right? So if you end up buying a catted one, you just wasted money there. Now you gotta sell that. You're not gonna get all your money back. And then you still have to buy the other one, right? So make sure you have the correct build plan so that you don't have to double buy on something. And you can just buy the part one time and it helps for what you're trying to accomplish in the future. For example, for me, I kinda had a build plan for my Lexus but I knew like, for example, the rear bumper, I had bought that other diffuser that I had. Cool, and that was a plan at first, but then I knew in the back of my head, I wanted to do an ISF bumper conversion. Um, that ended up happening, but all that money I spent on paint and the part for that old diffuser on the rear bumper pretty much is wasted now because I didn't, um, I don't use it anymore. I've never sold it, blah, blah, blah. So I could have just held onto that money, right? Or I see a lot of people, like for example me, I was thinking about going coil lowers, but I went lowering spring because I just wanted to get lower already. But I should have just saved that money. Went straight to coil lowers. Saved that, what, like 300 bucks? So make a build plan. Stick to the build plan as close as you can so that you don't have to double buy on something. Because if you have to double buy on something, guess what? You're losing some money on the back end of it. So be smart. Be smart with that. Make a, make a list. I got like 10 lists of cards I don't even have. I'm sure you do too. Don't lie. You do too. All right. Tip number four. Number four. Big, big number four. Learn to do the work yourself. Now, I know for some of y'all, it's kind of scary to try to do some of the work yourself, especially when it comes to performance parts or something like that, because you don't want to risk messing up your car. And I understand. I completely understand that. But like other things that you can do simply yourself, Learn to do it yourself, you know, if you really want to save that money. And nothing's wrong with going to professionals to do the work. I mean, that's what professionals are for. You want something done completely correctly, you pay a professional to do it. But if you don't mind getting your hand dirty and learning and maybe, maybe possibly fucking up a little bit, learn to do it yourself. You want to learn how to put coil errors on yourself? Sure, go ahead. You want to learn to put performance parts on yourself? Sure, go ahead. Will you mess up? Probably along the way, you will. But hey. You don't have to pay for labor or any of that stuff or renting out a, a lift or whatever you have to do, right? You would save money on all of that. You wouldn't have to pay someone to do it because you're just doing it yourself. I'm sure that's pretty self-explanatory, but that's definitely a big way to save money. You don't have to pay for labor and you get to learn. Win-win, right? All right. Tip number five, the last tip that I got for y'all to be able to afford or save money when you're building a car because hey we love saving money take it slowly you don't have to you don't have to buy a car and then ooh, one month finished building my car got all the parts you know it's, it never works like that unless you got buco bands like that you got money like that go ahead toss all the money should toss me some money too if you got it like that i'll hold a couple dollars you know what i'm saying but take it slow it's not a it's not a goddamn sprint it's a marathon You'll have your car if you want to build it and enjoy the process. You take it slow. You finish the car in five years. You have to build it in five years. It is what it is. If you can build it in a year, build it in a year. But don't put yourself in debt. Don't financially strain your pockets because you just want it done like that. It's not smart. If you can only buy one performance part every six months or one part every six months, it is what it is. Guess what? You'll enjoy the process. You'll get it done eventually, right? If you have to save up for coilovers and it's going to take a few months longer, fuck it, it's going to take a few months longer. Get a side hustle, like I said in tip two, to afford it quicker, you know? But 
no one's gonna be like oh man you you had your car for three months you ain't finished building it yet you know what i'm saying like no one's gonna be like that once you slowly start getting things that's like a cool gradual thing that's cool I, i'm not gonna lie i like following people on instagram and i see where their build is going throughout the years you know what i'm saying like that's dope to see it's like oh damn it's been how long already two years i've been following you and i see you've done this you've done that you've done that you've done that damn that went by quick but hey two years three years i've had my car for three years so you know some people build it quicker some people build it, build it slower if you have to take it slow take it slow no rush you'll get it when you get it all right well that's pretty much five tips to help you afford your car hopefully you could implement some of these so you can save some money because we love saving money if you haven't yet like comment subscribe i'll probably do my next video on what i'm what my plans are next for my car or future possible build stay tuned that'll probably be in the next video catch y'all next time y'all take care these gas prices suck deuces